Welcome to this new series where we're going to be sharing advice on moving home. Moving home is always stressful, it's emotional, it's challenging, there's a lot of variables and moving parts and you want to be moving home like a pro, which is exactly why we are bringing you this alongside our friends and moving experts from any van. So we're going to crack into it. Omar, good to meet you. Thank you for coming along. No problem. I'm feeling like completely by accident I've yes. dressed corporately for you today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I wanted to, to get your thoughts, if, if I could, for our, our audience about the stresses of the actual day, the moving day. Yeah, of course. I think it's something that people tend to stress about, um, but there are a couple of things that you can do to put yourself at ease before we, we arrive on the day. There's, there's a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of variables <laughs> in moving house, and the moving day is kind of almost the, the epicenter of all the planning and preparation and logistics goes into this day, yeah. and yet there's still so much to manage. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and like I said, hopefully over the next five, 10 minutes, we'll be able to help, right. help customers out with. Well, well let's, let's have a go. If I could start with, and, and um, let's hope it never happens, but what happens if the, if the driver's late? Yeah, I mean, this is a big concern for people um, on moving day. What we do, we try to be really super organised. Most removal companies will do the same thing. So initially, before you even book the move in, you can select the start time. So we narrow that down to an hour time slot, basically. So let's say that's between eight and nine in the morning. Yeah. We will then only give the job to one of our teams and the driver will only accept the job if they can guarantee that they can be there within that hour. Okay. Then prior to the move going ahead, you get all the contact information for the driver as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll have an open line of communication. So you'll be able to ring them the day before, make sure they're still arriving on time. They'll yeah. be able to let you know if they're gonna be five, 10 minutes late, anything like that. And that's, so that's direct communication between driver and customer, not between driver and office and customer exactly, and office. Exactly, yeah. I think you still have the option to call us by all sure. means, but I think most people like the idea of speaking directly to the person that's gonna do the move. What about tracking the, 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 the driver both before the move and during the move? Yeah, so what we do is on the day of the move, you'll get a link where you can track the driver up until they reach your property. Got it. And then sometimes people are worried about where their items are in between transit. So we allow you to track them up until they get to your delivery address as well. So you, we found over the years of experience that we have, the more visibility a customer has, the, yes. the happier they're gonna be on the yes. day of the move. Yeah, because it just removes doubt. Exactly. <laughs> you oh, know, otherwise exactly. they'll be bothering you going, where's this, where's that? Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. So yeah. Uh, we just encourage our drivers to be open in terms of communication. Like I said, they'll accept any calls. If they are gonna be late, even if it is by 10 to 15 minutes, they should let the customer know and they'll let us know as well. A big thing um, when, you, when you're actually dealing with full house removals is, is parking. Yeah. If you've got a big van turning up, how does it park? How long can it stay there? What happens if something else is in the way? Yeah. How do you cope with all of that? Yeah, so I think it's important to, to make it clear that all parking does need to be arranged by the customer before we get there. Uh, we appreciate for on-street parking, it's pretty much impossible to guarantee that there'll be a parking space on there. But what we ask is for you to try to sort our space as close to the entrance as possible. Mm. Um, by doing this, it causes us less issues on the day or make the move go ahead quicker as well. Yeah. Um, but just to make clear, if there were any parking permits or anything like that that needed to be arranged, all removal companies need that to be sorted out prior to them getting there because yeah. you have to be By part the of that. customer. Yeah, because they have to be part of that council to arrange a parking permit for, for that road. So that's something else to go on the, on the yes, list of things exactly. to sort. Yeah, I mean, it's something that should be mentioned to you before you book in, so you should have more than enough time to sort it out. It shouldn't be something that's sprung onto you, but yeah, it's something that we would need. And is access into buildings, and I'm thinking particularly flats, mm -hmm. is that an issue? Yeah, so as long as we can, in terms of parking, as long as we can park somewhere in the vicinity, that's not too much of an issue. We'll incorporate that all into the quote that we provide you with. Um, access when it comes to moving items, um, it might sound a bit silly, but if it got into the property, they more than likely will be able to get out. But okay, if there are enough. any yeah. blocked hallways or anything that you're worried about, yeah. it's again a qualifying question our team should be asking you. Mm. And it's not something that we should get there and the driver would be like, you know, what's this block here? We, we should already know. So somebody's, somebody's booked you guys to help. They know their house. They know their furniture. They don't actually are that familiar with where they're moving to. Yeah. Does that cause problems? There? And I'm thinking, you know, larger items of sofas and wardrobes. And that kind of yeah, I yeah, I think it's a good point. Like you said, when you leave your property, you know exactly where you're leaving. Um, what I would advise, my advice is just to try to get a feel for what your new property is going to be like. Check the 
entrance check if we if we come out through the back check yeah. what the fences are like check how wide so the doorways so this is measuring are. the doorways yeah just yeah. it's it's just to get put yourself at ease like yeah. i said the, these teams that work with us they've got years and years of experience and yeah. majority or 99% of properties in the uk can get a sofa and a bed into their property so we should be able to do the same yeah I mean, doors doors can come out, door frames can come out. I've had a window, a whole SAS window come out. Yeah, exactly. Again, it's not something we will be able to help with on the day, but if you knew it wouldn't fit got and it. you've got it arranged prior to us coming out, then absolutely, we will, you know, okay. pick the furniture up and put it through whatever gap there is. Where do you stand if somebody wants to move a wardrobe that is still full of clothes? Yeah, this is. A, I'm really glad you asked this question. I think people tend to think it'll be a lot easier when it comes to packing if they can just leave all their items in wardrobes yeah. and chest of drawers. Uh, just to explain the process on the day, what happens is we will collect all your furniture, wrap it up in furniture blankets, and then strap it into the back of the van. The only issue with that is all the loose items are still moving when we're obviously driving. Yeah. And what that could do is lead to your items being damaged. Or we've all seen the uh, IKEA wardrobes, they have soft plimps at the back. They could get damaged as well. So. For the short term gain of not doing that packing, it can cause you long term issues. So we need anything with any type of storage completely emptied before we get there. I understand packing, can, the task of it is quite overwhelming and it can be challenging if you're working, obviously. Um, so we actually provide a package and all removal companies will provide a package where they will do all the packing for you on the day. So they'll bring the packing materials, they'll pack every single drawer, wardrobe, everything. So yeah. And unpack it should uh, you require. Yeah, if should you require, they can yeah. unpack it for you as well. Absolutely. Any van is a smarter way to move home, furniture or vehicles, and it could save you up to 40%. With over 100,000 excellent ratings, you can trust any van. So visit anyvan.com to get a quote today. What about, and on, on a similar theme, a freezer? Fridge freezer. Yes. So you've got items in it, you can take it out. But I bet lots of people turn it off in the morning and go, yeah, it's empty. Yeah, that's, and that's the thing. They'll empty the food, which is great, which is yeah. exactly what we need. But the only issue is, is what you've got to bear in mind is that freezer is going to go into the back of the van with your items. If you haven't defrosted your freezer, <laughs> there'll be water flying everywhere. So I've actually yeah. checked this. It takes about eight hours for a freezer to defrost, apparently. So maybe if you give it 24 hours, yeah. clean it out, make sure it's completely dry before we get there. And then when we move your fridge freezer, there'll be no issues on the day. You make it sound so simple. Yes. <laughs> I'm just, it, it can be obviously a little bit more complicated than that if you've got loads of food in there. But hopefully if you yes. can, with enough time, you can... The, the key point you're trying to make, and I completely understand why, is actually get... It is complicated. There is a lot to think about it. You haven't done it very many times before. And, and you, and Ivan, or other removal companies, have you are professionals. You work in that space day in, day out. Yeah, absolutely. I think any advice you're given around your move, I would just take mm. on. Because like you said, on average, you move once every seven to eight years. It's, it's yeah. not much, whereas we deal with thousands yeah. of moves a week. So I, I move with lots, I, I help lots and lots of people um, buy houses. Yeah. But I'm not there on the day of actual removals. Yeah. Um, but I tend to hear if things have gone well or, or if they haven't gone well. And keys and access to properties, whether you're buying or renting, can cause problems on, on days of removal. How, how, any advice on that? Yeah, absolutely. I, from you know all the moves we've done, we tend to find that majority of your keys are handed over to you, to your new property, between 12 and 2 in the afternoon, basically. Okay. So with that information, we will structure the day around those timings, yeah. unless your estate agent has advised you otherwise, and you let us know, and we'll come at a different time. Unfortunately, you know, there will be occasions where you don't get the keys in time, either contract exchange issues or yeah. whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, what we do is we offer you a package right at the beginning where you can have two hours waiting time included. Okay. And that'll be very similar to other removal companies. Yeah. If you're a bit of a daredevil and you don't want to take that time out, that's absolutely fine. Um, on the day, you will get a 15 minute grace period where we will wait outside the property. But after that point, you'll get a small charge every half an hour. Okay. But I do want to make clear, at no point will we drive off with the items without <laughs> them being unloaded. We will make sure that we're there, yeah. however long it takes to get your items unloaded on the day. Okay. Does, I mean, do you come into problems with keys and access? Um, yeah, I mean, on occasion, honestly, 95% of the time, the okay. mortgage you know, goes yeah. through. People have been planning it for yeah. months and there aren't any issues on the day, but there are issues. What, what about, and I, I imagine this is perhaps more... Um, more of a regular occurrence that you turn up, someone's booked 50 boxes and actually they, yeah. they need 75. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it, it, it is something that happens quite often. So we do everything we can to counteract that before we get there. So 
Again, going back to I understand moving, it can be quite overwhelming and stressful. Our job is to try to remove that stress for you, basically. So before you get a quote, there are actually three ways you can get a quote with us. Um, you can either go onto the website, there'll be options of what rooms are going into, from what items. You have over 100,000 items to select from, so you should be able to find your item on there. Yeah. And you can go room by room yourself, basically. If that option doesn't help you, me personally, I don't think I'd like that option. You can actually ring into one of my colleagues in the office they will go through it with you step by step, room by room. You know, some people don't realize the things that they might leave off or whatnot. So, and then on the system, there'll be an estimator for boxes with all the information we've had over the past 10 to 15, 12 years. So you can do that. Or a final step, which is quite a new step, which a lot of customers are, are liking is a video call. Yep. So we basically call your phone and you basically take us around your property and we'll note down all your items and do it and that then, And then it's kind of, you're involved in the process Absolutely. of deciding how many boxes. Yeah, I think the people like the idea of speaking yeah. to someone face to face. So yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's becoming very popular. Omar, thank you for your time. Really useful, interesting stuff on a, such a big and important topic. No problem. Thank you so much, Phil. Much appreciated. Thank you.